Bless the name of Jesus. Greetings, remnant brothers and sisters, viewers and subscribers. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. We will give the Lord thanks for such another day. Bless the name of Jesus. I just come here today to do a quick video and also to promote our prayer meeting that will begin tomorrow. Tomorrow evening, tomorrow Friday evening at 7 p.m. Jamaica time at 7 p.m. And so I am going to post the Zoom link. It will, it's going to be a prayer meeting on and zoom uh, for me it's something that I've never done before but others have done it so it's gonna be a bit new for me but I'm excited to come together with those who will make the effort the sacrifice to really cry out to God together in agreement in one accord bless the name of Jesus because we need Jesus now more than ever. Praise the name of Jesus. Um, I want to look at, uh, well, that is for tomorrow. I want to look at just one verse today. One verse. Because we have often read the story of Sodom and Gomorrah. And from a tender age coming up, I have only, um, I can only record one thing. Whenever we hear about Sodom, and if anybody should ask a child, why was Sodom destroyed by God? The first thing, the first response from the majority of us, Sodom was destroyed because of um, the same kind going together the same kind knowing each other i'm trying to say it in a decent way we are you know wherever we heard preachers preaching the 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 the, the, the prime focus was always about you know this abomination that was taken in sodom this this act you know, the same kind, knowing each other. And so, I guess many of us have not taken a deeper look in what was the state of Sodom before judgment. But then I came upon this one verse that was very interesting. And while I was reading it, my brothers... I'm not picking on America. I'm not picking on America. Get me clear. I am not picking on America. I've done so much videos about Babylon. But I truly believe with all of my heart that there's an event that is coming and Babylon is the Focal point. Babylon is the place. I believe that this is where, bless the name of Jesus, there's going to be a shift. A global shift is about to take place. Uh, a, a, a great change is coming, my brothers and sisters. Massive this is going to change everything about our lives. Everything. Every single thing about the life that we know now will be changed based on this shift that is coming. Just needed to get that out there. Why America? Why keep... Coming about America. God is using his people to warn. God is using his watchmen to warn. 
And oftentimes, as watchmen, we are going to be repeating ourselves. We are going to be, as some people might say, stress, stressing on a particular thing or a particular place. And so, Ezekiel 16, verse 49. If you have your Bibles, can you just go there with me? Just this one verse. Ezekiel 16, verse 49. And we will be having a different look at Sodom. A different look at Sodom. Ezekiel 16, verse 49 says, Help me, Holy Spirit. Behold, this was the iniquity of thy sister, Sodom. This was the iniquity of thy sister, Sodom. What is the meaning of iniquity? For what I know, iniquity is another stage of sin. You can give me your interpretation in the comment section. Tell me more about this iniquity in the comment section. Iniquity is when sin becomes chronic. It's another stage. It's another level. Behold, this was the iniquity of thy sister, Sodom. And God starts to name out, one by one, what was through the prophet Ezekiel. It says, pride, fullness of bread, an abundance of idleness was in her, and in her daughters, neither did she strengthen the hand of the poor and the needy. You hear that, my brothers and sisters? Now, this does not tell us anything about that, that, that thing where men and men was all about the place, knowing each other. It is telling us that the iniquity of Sodom, the number one thing that was highlighted here, the first thing that was mentioned, pride. God said, this was the iniquity of Sodom. Pride. What do we know about pride, my brothers and sisters? The word of God says that pride goeth before a fall. Pride goeth before destruction. When we think of America, when we think of Babylon, my God, in spite of all that is happening in this nation, in spite of all hell breaking loose, when I look in this nation, there's this strong level of pride. It's like pride is at its peak coming from the president down to the common man in the street. Pride. The news anchor, those who anchor the news, pride and arrogance. The politicians, pride and arrogance. Our Jamaicans who, 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 who live there, and I'm not generalizing. Let me just get that clear. I'm not generalizing. But many I know is just full of pride and arrogance. I've been trying to reach out to quite a lot of those who I know. Sharing what is about to come. They don't want to hear it. You know. I've lost communication with quite a few because for them, my energy is wrong. I'm, I'm, the, the, the vibes that I bring is wrong. 
you know, the energy is wrong. They, they want to avoid this kind of energy. Pride and arrogance. And so, the iniquity of Sodom was pride, fullness of bread. This is what the Lord is showing me at this time. Babylon is set. Babylon is set with pride. Babylon is set with my God Almighty. Fullness of bread. When it comes on to food. For years, Babylon has been, has been so blessed with abundance of bread. My God. And, and, and the next thing that comes after the third thing is an abundance of idleness. When God looks into America at this time, my God, when God looks, is ministering to me about abundance this nation has the abundance of idleness idleness my brothers and sisters god eats idleness because god knows what idleness can cause one of david's greatest sin came out of idleness David was the king. David should be in the battle. David should be in the war. There was a great conflict that was happening at the time with Israel. Israel was in a battle. The king was supposed to be there. The king chose not to go. And so while he should be in the battle, he was at home. And so David took an idle walk on his balcony. For those who know the story. And based on that idle walk that day, David saw something. That if he was in the battle, if he was where he was supposed to be, he would not saw something that would cause all hell to break loose in his house. Hideness. This place is packed with the abundance of idleness. Idleness was in her. And in her daughters, the other cities around. Bless the name of Jesus. Neither did she strengthen the hand of the poor and needy. My brothers and sisters, God says, And neither did she strengthen the hand of the poor and the needy. Neither, neither did she seek to help. In Sodom, as God watched what was taking place, Sodom was in the position that everyone could be fed. Sodom was in the position that everyone could be taken care of in the health system. Sodom was in the place where no one was, was supposed to be left behind. Sodom could have done so much more for their people. But as the Lord said in his word, S Sodom, in spite of all that was there in abundance. The riches, the wealth, bread. God watched the poor as the poor suffers in Sodom. Bless the name of Jesus. What is happening now, my brothers and sisters? Governments strategically stop the oil uh, production strategically by legis um, legislation 
cutting the oil supply, strategically stopping the digging, the drilling. It's like everything that they do is to make the nation worse. And it has become so obvious. I truly didn't believe that the end times would be like this. I, everything that is happening, it's so obvious. And you're like, how are my neighbors not seeing this? How are my brothers and sisters not seeing this? Sorry, I'm a bit worse from prayer meeting last night. Uh, you're wondering, you know, why those around me are not seeing this? It's so obvious. And so, before Sodom, in closing, before Sodom was destroyed, God says, this was the iniquity of Sodom. Sodom didn't even strengthen the hand of the poor. Care for the poor. It was years ago when I watched John Q, that movie with Denzel Washington. When I used to watch a lot of movies in the past. I didn't know, as a Jamaican, I didn't know that that these kind of things take place in the health system. That movie opened my eyes to what can really happen when you're poor. Living in Babylon. And before Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed, this was the state of Sodom. And what the Lord is ministering to me in his word at this time, this is the present state of Babylon. Babylon is about to fall, my brothers and sisters. The eagle is falling. The eagle is falling. Suddenly, suddenly, the place will go pitch black. Suddenly, the place will go dark. And Babylon will be no more. God help us, my brothers and sisters. God help us. In Jesus' name.